For this segment of the presentation, we're going to be demonstrating the tests that are done on the long force plate on the Balance Master system here. So I have a 67-year-old female with me today who's going to help with this demonstration. This is Elizabeth, and Elizabeth has had a right total knee arthroplasty in the past, about 10 years ago, and she has some arthritis in her left knee that's causing her some difficulty going up and down stairs and squatting. So these will be some good tests to see how she's functioning in everyday life. So we are in the main menu. I'm clicking on activity based to be on the long force plate. Click on access, uh, assessment here. And then I'm going to choose a number of tests that are going to give us a good idea of all these long force plate tests. Weight bearing squat, unilateral stance, sit to stand, a walk across test, tandem walk, step quick turn, step up over, and forward lunge. So those eight tests will be done in that sequence. All right, I click on continue, and it gives me the first screen to begin with. So Elizabeth, I'm going to get you standing on this force plate. Put the arch of your foot over those little circles, and I am going to get your feet in a very specific position. So if you don't mind, I'm going to roll your pant leg up a notch so I can see your ankle. All right, so we are going to put this medial ankle bone on this wide black line right here. Back up just a little bit, a little bit more. Great, and the heel is in a good position on the M line for you for your height. Same thing here, we're going to match that. And that looks really good. Do you feel like your feet are comfortable? Do you need to turn your toes out a little bit? No, I'm fine. Great, all righty. So she's wearing tennis shoes, which is good for these functional tests because a lot of them require walking and stepping and lunging, so we don't want her feet to slip on the force plate. The other concession I need to make for placing her feet on the force plate is to make sure that it's the heel I'm lining up with the M line and not just the outside of her shoe. So I want, the, I want to estimate where the heel is inside her shoe. All right, the first test we're going to do on this system is called the weight-bearing squat. Your job is going to be to stand steady with your knees straight, and then I'm going to tell you to bend your knees about 30 degrees, 60, and 90 until we get down to a squat. In each position, I'll have you hold that, and I'm going to click the button so it gets a picture of your weight bearing. Okay. All righty, so stand steady with your knees really straight. All right, bend your knees a little bit for me. A little bit more, and stop. Great, and a little bit more down to about 60 degrees. Stop. All right, and one more time as low as you can get there to 90, and stop. Great, come on up. That's all it is, you okay? Yep. Oh, stay up there. That's all right. I'm gonna put your feet in a different position next. All right, we're done with that little test. The next test we're gonna do in this suite is called the unilateral stance test. So you get to stand on one foot. The only thing I need is for this middle ankle bone to be on the line. It's gonna test your left foot first. So I'm gonna put you on this line right here, forward a little bit, right there, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you a couple practice tries. Try standing on, just try lifting up your right foot a few times. And standing on that foot. Can you stand on it for about 10 seconds? Yeah, it should be able to. All right. Excellent. All right, I think you're gonna be good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three times with your eyes open. Did I move my foot too much? Or nope, I think okay. you're good. Nope, you're just right. Three times with your eyes open and three times with your eyes closed. We'll give you a little practice first, okay? All right, so eyes open, lift your right foot up, and testing. All righty. Nice job. Place it down. I'm going to have you actually put your hands on your um, hips for this test. In, uh, in the standardized position, that's what we prefer. In my clinic, I like to have people do it in other positions as well. So I'm going to actually test you with your hands on your hips here. All right, right foot comes up again and testing. Great. 
Doing good. All righty. And you get one more try just like that. Ready? And testing. Very nice. All right. Now let's put your right, uh, oh no, you get to go do the same thing with your left foot before we switch feet. So let's do uh, left foot again. But when you get your balance, as soon as you get your balance, you're going to close your eyes and I'm going to start the machine, okay? So I'll wait for you to get ready. Close your eyes and testing. All right. You know what? I didn't give you any chance to balance, did I? <laughs> Let me let you try that a couple yeah. times, all right? It's very difficult it's, to do this test. It's easier to do this barefoot. She probably <laughs> hasn't practiced this in a long time. No, so. I do it barefoot. Okay. <laughs> we'll practice a few times and we'll try it again. Oh, this is, this is tricky. It is. Oh. And that's your arthritic knee, correct? Yes. All righty. All right, we're going to try it. You're going to balance for as long as you can. All right? It's okay if you step down. Just uh, try not to fall. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. No, you're good there. You are good there. All right. I am going to discard that first test, and we'll let you do it over, okay? Oh, um, with my eyes open, too? The eyes closed ones. Oh, the eyes closed ones. Eyes yeah. closed ones. All right. So, you've got a little practice. Okay. When you're ready. Okay. All right. Ready? And... Close your eyes, test. Oh, she, she touched down really quickly on that one. Yes. All right, so get ready. We're going to try it again. I'm going to count that as a fall because it's going to be important for me to see if you get better and better each time, too. All right. Oh, my fault. My fault. I almost got the tree. Alrighty, it's actually the machine is smarter than me because it's making me check her feet. Stay right there. Uh huh. That's what I said. I know I your feet are good. That's right. Okay. Ready? Testing. Good. Alrighty, that was a good trial. Okay. Okay, stay right there. I'm going to make sure your feet are okay. You didn't move your foot. You just tapped no, your foot down, so we're okay. We All righty, you get time. one more try on that foot. Okay. Close your eyes. Oh, All right. <laughs> well, this is good. This is why we're here, yeah. is to see if you have any problems with your balance, and that's showing up. All right, we're ready to test your right foot, Elizabeth. Wait for me here. I'm going to make sure your foot's positioned properly, and that, that middle ankle bone is on that wide line. All righty, you ready? Yeah. Okay, pick up your left foot. Here we go. Very good. Okay, take a little break. All right, when you're ready, we're going to try it again. Okay. Testing. Good. All right, and one more time here. And testing. Good job. All right, so she did really, really well with her eyes open. And she told me she practices these at home, so she knows the importance of it. All right, let's have you practice a couple times with your eyes closed before we test you. It's a lot harder. <laughs> yep, yep. It's a whole different test. One more trial. One more practice. Good job. All right. <laughs> now you're getting better. All right, let's try. With eyes closed. It's hard. All right, so with eyes closed <coughs> on the right foot. So when you lift your foot up and close your eyes, I'm ready to test you. Testing now. All right, so she's trying really, really hard. We're going to mark that as a fall. We get two more chances on that one, okay? 
All right, so we are going to do the right leg with your eyes closed now. So when you're ready, I'll test you here. Get ready, eyes closed and testing. And I stepped oh, You stepped fast. really fast. I'll discard that one and give you another try. Because I just got That's wobbly. all right. I get really wobbly when I mm -hmm. close my eyes. Okay. okay, very good. One more try just like that. <laughs> That's a normal reaction to grab with your toes for yeah, balance. It doesn't it work is. on this. Uh, not with shoes on. No, no huh? Okay. One okay, more. get ready. One more try. All right, that was the best one. Yes. All right. I know that, but it wasn't good. Good for you. <laughs> no, you're doing great. That's probably the hardest test you'll have to do of this whole bunch of tests. But the squat wasn't good either. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have you step aside. We're going to put a few boxes on here. If you step over here, we have to, um, we're going to set up some, a seat for you on the system. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm placing a 12-inch box and a 4-inch box on top of the force plate anywhere inside that center square. This is going to create a seat that is 16 inches high, which is approximately, it's a, the closest we can get to a normal size seat height, which is about 17 inches, um, using the box configuration that comes with your system. So come on over here. And you are going to sit on that seat for me, right in the middle. Good. And the only thing we have to be concerned with for your feet is that that black line is right in between your feet. It doesn't matter how wide you have them or how narrow. You get to choose that, but that line should be right in the middle. Okay. All right? All righty. So your job is going to be to stand up as quickly as possible and then just stand steady. Okay? But you're not allowed to use your arms. Can you do that? Push up without your arms? Okay. And you get three of these uh, tests, three little tests, and they'll average your score up. You ready? Right. So you're, when you um, start this test, we're going to see a little, uh, s like a box here that says hold steady. So you're going to sit really steady until you see that say go. When you see the go signal, you stand up fast and just stay up. All righty? Here we go. Hold steady. That's all right. And go. Nice. Stand really steady until that box goes away. Very good. Because it, what's happening there is it's measuring your balance while you're standing. Okay? Same thing again. But when, the, when the sign comes on, you hold really steady. Hold steady. Wait for that go. Nice. Stand really steady again. Excellent. And one more time. Okay, get ready. Hold steady. Very good. Stay there. All right. So you can climb off the force plate just for a second. Close out that test. The next test is going to be a walk across test. So I'm going to take all these boxes out, put them right behind you. All right, Elizabeth, I'm going to have you start back here, just a couple feet behind the force plate, so that you have to take a step before you get onto the plate. And you're going to walk right across the force plate and off the other side and just stop right about here. All right, so your job is just going to be to take two or three steps, whatever you take on the force plate, as normal as possible. Okay. You know, walk as normal as possible. Be careful with this edge right here. Um, you can see from the screen that there is a wood apron we often put around this force plate that gives you a little ramp up and ramp down. In this laboratory, we don't have that connected. So for safety, we like to have that. All right, I'm going to click start. Same thing again. You're going to hold steady until that go signal start goes. Go. Nice. 
All right, come on around. You're going to start from the same side again. Right there. Get ready and go. Great. Come on around again. Okay, one more time. And go. Very nice. Okay, come on back. I'm going to close out the walk across test and go to the next test, which is called tandem walk. All right, for this test, you're going to start by standing with your heel to your toe on the force plate. Do your best to balance. When the go signal comes on, you're going to walk heel to toe until you get your last full step on the force plate. If you only have a half step left, don't do that. So just stop with your last full step and hold steady at the end. It's going to measure your balance at the end and the beginning. <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Get ready. And hold steady. Go. Okay, and stop right there and hold really steady. Beautiful. You are good. Come on around. Uh, it really doesn't matter as long as you stay as close on that line as possible. Okay, get ready. You ready yet? Nope. Okay, hold steady. Stop right there and hold. Nice job. Okay, <laughs> hold steady. Go. And stop right there. Good, 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 good. Nice job. All right, you made all three of those. All right, we're going to close out the, walk, the tandem walk test, and we're going to go to a, a test called step quick turn. Step quick turn, you're going to start on the force plate. You're going to start with your left leg, take two steps, turn around, just turn around, walk back, and stop. All right, so you get three of those going to the left, three of those going to the right. Okay, so stand on the force plate. So you're going to start with this leg, Walk and you're going to turn side. towards me. Okay. All right? All right. Wait till that says go. Turn towards me. Good. Walk back and stop. Great. Okay, turn around. Same thing, two more times turning towards me and starting with this leg. Hold steady. And stop. Excellent. Turn around. And one more just like that, okay? Here we go. Okay, turn around. Now you're going to start with this leg and you're going to turn to your right three times in a row. Okay. Get ready, hold there. Right leg. That one looked more comfortable for you, isn't it? Turn around. Uh, yeah. yeah, you like that side better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, same thing, right foot. Hold steady. Nice. Turn around and one more time. Mm. 
Nice job. All right, turn around. You can stay on the force plate. We're going to close out the step quick turn test. And we are going to put a little box up here for you. This is eight inches high. I'm going to put it inside this um, black box, a black square on the force plate. All right, and this test is called a step up and over test. Your job is going to be to step up with one leg. We're going to start with your left foot, okay. all the way over, down, down. Okay. All right? And it's going to tell me some, something about the strength and the function of your left leg. We'll do three on the left leg, and then we'll do three on the right leg. Okay? Do you think you can do this one? So, yes, I'll left, left foot up, and left foot up, right the foot down, left foot down. All the way down. Yeah, all the way over with the right foot. Okay, same thing, wait for the go signal. And you're, you want to do this nice and smooth and quickly if you can. Get ready. Oh, you're good. Stay right there. Nice. Come on back. Now left foot again. Ready? Nice. Okay, one more time. Good. All righty. Come on back and we'll do three on the right leg now. Okay. Right leg's going to go up, left leg goes all the way over. Good. Okay, one more just like that. Nicely done. All right. <laughs> One more test. Okay. One more test. Okay, we're going to close out the step up and over test. She was able to complete all the trials there. The last test is called a forward lunge test. You're going to start back here on the end of the force plate. We're going to start with your left leg. Take a, a nice long step and push back as quickly as you can. Okay, so take a, a good long step and push back quickly. Do you okay. want to practice once? Don't go so low you can't get back up, okay? Uh -huh. Try your other foot. Good. All right, that's all it is. So you judge how far is safe for you, mm -hmm. all right? But you want to come back off that leg real quick. All right, so you wait for that go signal and you're going to start with your left foot. Nice. Okay. Left foot again. Good. Good, good. All right. One more time. Great. Okay, three times, right leg. Good. Right leg again. Good. And one more time. All right, you have completed all of the tests on the long force plate that we need to show today. So thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you.